console behind me has the brights on. Of course, they're not turning anywhere. They're probably going to follow me all the way to work. What is it with people? Seriously. How can you not know that you've left your brights on? How do you not know? Ugh. People piss me off so bad because of sheer stupidity. I mean, I just, what the hell? There goes a uh, Meridian Township cop hauling ass. Maybe he'll pull that asshole over for having his brights on. Still got his brights. I can't believe this. Ah, oh, whatever. Maybe one of these cars passing by will flash their lights at him. Oh. Um, sure is a lot of traffic. I don't know what's been going on lately. I know that students are coming back. As far as from Michigan State, we usually see a pretty sizable influx of people and This light would change almost right away. There it goes. Wow, what's with all the traffic? It's not even Friday, it's like a Wednesday. Seriously, what the? Look at all this. I mean, yesterday was the same thing, there was people everywhere. 3.30 in the morning, and there's all this traffic. I guess I'll answer a question that comes up every so often if I've ever been pulled over and for what um, of course I haven't who hasn't even my grandma who drives or used to when she was alive used to drive like 10 under the speed limit everywhere she went um, even she's been pulled over a time or two for like headlamps and tail lamps and things like that so yeah I mean who hasn't been pulled over my first experience I, but here's the thing never had a ticket been pulled over several times in my life no tickets um, now I've had a fix it ticket before if you want to count that but I don't count that because that didn't go on my record or anything that was a uh, a headlight that was out um, but uh, the first time I was pulled over was actually for speeding but he uh, I don't know why but he let me off and uh, he said that I was doing six over and you know I that was in my old blazer and the speedometer didn't work very well I had a good idea of where my speed was but you know, it had oversized tires, and, and it had a different uh, rear end, so it, the speedometer was off by 10 or so, is our guess. Um, so, because of that, you know, I, I, I was, uh, shoot, I was 17 when I got pulled over. And I told the cop, I said, you know what, this thing's got oversized tires on it, and it's got a different rear end on it, and I said, uh, I 
just basically guess as to how fast I'm going. And he must have been in a really good mood. He must have got late that morning or something. Because uh, he let me off. He told me that he recommends that I look into getting it fixed. Because the next cop may not be so nice. So, he had a point. I never got it fixed though. Then shortly after that, it was like a week and a half later, I was uh, heading to my church and uh, I played in the church band and I was late. I was like, I don't know, 10 minutes late and I pulled in through the back way because usually the back door was open for staff and so on, but that time it was locked. And it was my first day of practice. So it was locked and it was late at night. It was in the winter time. So I ran all the way or I got in my truck, went all the way around, but I didn't come to a complete stop at the stoplight that was stop sign that was at the end of the uh, the way, even though there were no cars coming except for one, which just so happened to be a cop. So he pulled me over inside the church parking lot. I had my guitar and everything. I said, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just in a hurry to get to uh, church. I'm late for uh, for that. And he let me off. He said, yeah, okay, no problem. See how pretty lucky there.